Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. In this lesson, we will be looking at page 31 in your textbook. This is in unit 3 and the title is Saved by an MP3 player. Now let's start. These are the things that we are going to do. First, we will be reading and listening. And then we will complete two exercises, which are exercise two and three, just to check how much we understand the text. Okay, so first of all, the title is called Said by an MP3 player. So maybe some of you don't know what an MP3 player is. So here it is. It's like your mobile phone, right? Right now you can do a lot of things with your smartphone, right? You can listen to songs and whatnot, but back then, um, phones cannot uh, play music, okay? So you imagine the one with the keypad can, when you, you can only use it to send text messages and call. You cannot use it to listen to songs. So you have this thing called MP3. Okay, so you, it's kind of like a pen drive that can play songs. Okay. Now let's look at the text. Now for this part, let's read and listen. This is about Sophie Frost, a teenage girl from England. Okay, now I have one thing to tell you. The audio or the original audio is about Sophie and her boyfriend. So it's a bit different here. Some of the words are changed but the story is still similar so no worries let's just listen to it unit three reading a news report exercise one saved by an mp3 player sophie frost a schoolgirl from england felt very lucky when her grandmother gave her an mp3 player as a present she didn't know just how lucky she was, however. When an unexpected accident happened a few days later, the MP3 player probably saved her life. 14-year-old Sophie was going for a walk with her boyfriend, Mason Billington, when it started raining. The young couple took shelter from the rain under a tree and were sitting together when lightning struck. The lightning hit them both and they lost consciousness. Then Mason woke up and carried Sophie to the nearest road in order to get help. A car stopped and took them to hospital. Sophie had some burns on her chest and legs she also had some damage to her eyes and ears, but fortunately she quickly recovered. How did Sophie's MP3 player prevent her from having serious injuries? When the accident happened, she wasn't listening to music on the player, but was wearing it around her neck. Doctors believe that the lightning travelled through the wire of the MP3 player instead of through Sophie's body. Even though she was lucky this time, one thing's for sure. The next time there's a storm, she and her boyfriend won't sit underneath a tree. Did you know? Lightning can travel at 150,000 kilometres per second. Okay, so I'll be explaining a bit, so there may be some uh, words that you don't understand. Okay, so first of all, in paragraph 1, it's an introduction about who Sophie is and what did she get from her grandmother. So she got an mp3 as a present. Okay, when an unexpected accident. Okay, unexpected means tak terjangka, tak dijangka. So when an unexpected accident happened a few days later, bila ada kejadian yang tak terjangka, tak dijangka berlaku, a few days later, 
the mp3 player probably saved her life. Okay, so mp3 player tu yang selamatkan nyawa dia. Okay, let's see what happens. So, she was going for a walk with her friend Mason Billington. So, dia pergi for a walk when it started raining. Okay, suddenly it's raining pula. The two friends took shelter. Took shelter means berlindung. Okay, so because it's raining, so they don't want they don't want to get wet. So they go uh, to they go sit under a tree. Okay. And then when they sit there, duduk dekat pokok, a lightning struck. Lightning tu apa? Lightning tu kilat. Okay, so ada kilat yang sambar pokok tu. Okay. And they both sorry, they both lost consciousness. Tak sedar, lost consciousness. Okay, then Mason yang woke up and carried Sophie to the road, bawa pergi uh, dekat jalan besar to get help. Then a car took them to a hospital. Sophie had some burns on her chest and legs, so ada kesan kebakaran dekat dada dan kaki. She also had some damage to her eyes, so ada cedera juga dekat mata dia and ears. Okay, but fortunately, nasib baik, she quickly recovered. Recovered means sembuh. Okay, then they explain how did the MP3 help her. Okay, so she said, uh, during the accident, she's not, she wasn't listening to the music. Okay, so she, but she was wearing it around her neck. So she, she's just like putting it around her neck. She's not listening to music at all. Okay, so when the lightning struck uh, her, Okay, so the lightning didn't go through her body but just go around the wire. Okay, so that's how she was saved. Now let's go to section 2, exercise 2. We are going to put events in the correct order dalam susunan yang betul. Okay, look at the instruction. Read the report again and put the events in order. Put it in order means arrange. Okay, correctly. So there are five sentences A uh, to E. Look at this one. It started raining. B. Sophie went to hospital. C. Sophie and her friend went for a walk. D. Sophie's grandmother gave her a present. E. An accident happened. Okay, so all these five things, five sentences, it's not in the correct order. Bukan dalam susunan yang betul. Okay, so the exercise wants you to arrange. Okay, how do you do it? Okay, so in order to find out what happened, you have to tell me what happened first. So, dia dah bagi A to E, A, B, C, D, E. So, you have to decide which one happens first. Is it A, is it B, C, D or E? Okay. So, for example... Uh, the first thing that happened was, I think it's D. Okay, so you write down D. Okay, so don't just write down D, but you write the whole sentence as well. Copy the whole sentence, okay? Write it back. Sophie's grandmother gave her a present, so you write it down. Okay, and then you decide what happened next. From what you have read, daripada you baca tadi, what happens after that? Okay. And same thing, you will have to write down A ke B ke C ke D. Okay, so what happens? And then you write down the sentences. Okay, that's exercise two. And then exercise three is where you have to answer a few questions about the text. Okay, so you have six questions all together. Okay, did not you job up? So number one, let's look at the question. What did Sophie's grandma give her? Okay, this one I think you understand. Second, where was Sophie and her friend when the lightning struck? Okay, so when the accident happens, where were they? What were they doing? Okay, number three, how did Sophie go to hospital? Okay, very easy as well. How did she get to the hospital, what did her friend do? Number four, where was Sophie hurt? So, during the accident, something happened to her. Okay, so she was injured. Where is it? 
Okay, the number five, where was Sophie's MP3 player when the accident happened? Okay, so teacher dah cakap tadi, MP3 tu dekat mana? Was she listening to it? If not, then where is it? Okay, then last one, what part of the MP3 player did the lightning go through? Okay, this one uh, means, so MP3 player has like the player and the, the wire. Okay, so what part, bahagian mana of the MP3 player that the lightning uh, go through? Menerusi. Okay, so which one? Okay, for example, this is the first question. What did Sophie's grandma give her? Okay, so the answer is an MP3 player. So you write down the answer. Okay, write down both questions and answers. You copy the question and write down the answer. So you do the same thing for number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, and that's all for today. You just need to finish exercise 2 and 3. If you have any question, you can ask me below or ask me on our Telegram group. That is all for today. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye.